How's it going, everyone? I'm Nostalgic Dave, and welcome back to Six Days of Sacrifice. What could potentially be the last episode? If not, it's probably the second to last episode. Anyway, um, where is... So last time we learned that we are going to die within two days, including the day we're on. I completely forgot something. Hold on. Well, there hasn't been any volume yet. It's been absolute silence, but I just noticed I put the desktop volume on quiet. Okay. Out here? Hello? Yeah! Hey, what was that? What the f fuck was that? Okay. Um... Uh... What? Cutting? Didn't I just dream about this? Uh, I have literally no idea how to open it. It's Canning's blood. I know it is, somehow. It's splattered all over the cell. Was that the noise? That was so random. Uh... Well, I'm out of here. That is Janine. What the F? That door was, that door was different. That door was very different. Oh, wait. We're not in the hub anymore, why? Why is this a thing? When I touch it, pins and needles run up in my arm. When I pick it up, it doesn't seem to have any weight at all. I may need it. Oh. Wait, what the... Why is the door gl glowing? Why is the door glowing? That... Mm. I still... How do I still have the pickaxe? I thought that was part of it. Uh oh. I don't like this. I don't think I'm gonna like what's in here.
Wait. What? Okay, one small mistake that I noticed, that I read. Hold on. Okay, one, two, three, huh. boop. Wait, what? Why'd you do that, Cabadath? Why, why? What was, why was that needed? What was the, what was? Is that me? This is, of course, our resident celebrity. The Mephistopheles, oh, wait. Oh, is this the guy from Seven Days of So we just skipped ahead. So we're in the future after seven days of skeptic now. Got it. And he, unfortunately, shortly after the launch, it was discovered that the real John, Doctor Jonathan Somerset, was dead. Pushed down a flight of stairs, presumably by an imposter who had taken his place. Off-world security was dispatched to intercept. His last recorded communication was an SOS distress call to the e Okay. Yep. It's describing Seven Days of Skeptic. If you haven't seen that playthrough of mine yet, or you haven't played the game, I at least recommend um, checking out the game itself. If not, I'll leave a link at the end of the video to Seven Days of Skeptic, uh, where I usually do. He failed the final examination. It seems becoming a shipboard counselor was his dream, and when his father was called up, he couldn't hold in his jealousy. So this is the son, Dr. Somerset. Okay. This partly, this is okay. I'm not paying attention to much of the reading. If you guys do want to read it, go ahead. Uh, pause it if you'd like. Best theory we have is that he was found out and killed out of desperation. Yeah, you guys described this um, at the end of Seven Days. Again, I do recommend playing the game. It is really well thought through. Okay. Some better. What? Certainly not the actions of a man simply trying to cover up a far less serious act. But let's leave him for the moment and move on. We can and So what I'm am I playing as Somerset now? Wait. So in six days a sacri so up until now on six days a sacrifice I'm playing as this other guy and now I'm playing as Somerset again from seven days? years into the future okay I honestly let's just let's just inspect things because I don't think there's much else I can do it's pretty much the only thing to look at in here there's a hatch built into it for moving food and small items into the cell talk, I guess. It won't reply. Okay. Wait. Duh, oh, fuck you! I was beginning to think you'd gone forever. This shall be our last meeting. You'll get me out of here, right? You owe me at least that. 
What makes you think I owe you anything? You're the one who made me kill my father. Wait, what? I only encouraged you to- Okay. You promised me I wouldn't get caught. You wouldn't have been caught had the Mephistopheles left that locker alone. You knew about that? Did you know about John Defoe? Was it all part of the same plan? Of some plan? I did not scheme it. But I did know it would come. All I did was encourage events to take place as I had seen. You know they think I did it. All that senseless murder. I've been locked up in here for six months. I don't care about you or any of your bullshit. Just get me out of here and you'll never hear from me again, I swear. I very much doubt that. But rest assured I am here to release you. Thank you. What do I have to do? Just use the key and leave by the door. What? Maybe you haven't noticed, but the lock is on the outside. Besides, the guards outside will... I'm not talking about that door. Fucking God! What door? What key? Who are you? Wait a minute. Um... Someone sent me a parcel with no return address. It contains some kind of oddly shaped knife. By the feel of it, it's old enough to be an antique. Wait a minute. On the wall. Is that supposed to be John DeVoe's blade? I don't think so. Fine. It's just part of the wall, but it feels different now. When I look at it, my hands start to tremble. Okay. Use the blade on it? I don't think so. That door. Okay. Okay. Is this like the finale of everything going on? Got blood on me now. Wait a minute. Don't tell me. Am I the guy in red? Somerset? Is Somerset the guy in red? I thought it was going to be the other guy from six days. And we've hit the bridge. Okay. Oh, wait. Is the red a bunch of blood? Is that what it is? Okay. What? Looks like the corpse of an old man in the remnants of a suit. Tied up with strands of muscle and skin. Is that... 
Truly? What happened to you, old man? I made a powerful enemy. You're alive? Of course. Chizo will not let me die. It's really these sounds are really starting to bug me. Who are you? You ask a complex question. The name by which I know myself is Trilby, but I strongly suspect that I am not the original. Are you a clone? I'm probably a clone. So what happened to the original guy? Perhaps I simply cannot bear the thought that the real me would ever be imprisoned like this. So this still begs one question for me. What happened to the inspector? What is this place? I knew you'd ask that. You're inside the body of Giselle. Ew. How did I get here? The last I... Okay, I can't use the same voice because it's all the same voice for like... Somerset had the same voice as Trilby, so I don't know. I can't explain there's no possible way to get from there to here. Not corporeally, anyway. Who's Chizo? A more appropriate question might be, what is Chizo? Or even where is Chizo, since it seems he is a place as well as a fiend. But to answer you, Chizo is a pain element. Chizo is an element? I thought he was a demon. Summoned by Kabadath and then praised as a god. I, I haven't been reading this. I, I'll read it later, I guess, but really? He's an element? Fought for more power. Jizo is the very last of his kind. A bloated mountain of gristle whose very essence crackle with the residual magic. And now nothing but the most hellish torments will state his hung- Ooh. He's the closest thing to a god of pain. Oh, that's why. Okay. Hence the cult. And not a religion. Direct religion. You're the one who sent the idol into space. Possibly. Certainly I have memories of doing so. And you must be the man who found him. How could you know that? After the hotel, Trilby spent many years researching Chizo. He survived? He requested a vision of the idols. Because when I played the game, I don't remember Trilby surviving. I played the game to the point where he died. Trilby died. But I guess there's a way for him to survive. That's the way you became. And I realized that I'd seen you before somewhere. But never mind. You want to redeem yourself, don't you? More than anything. Then all you have to do is follow my instructions. Okay, what do I do? I want you to kill me. And don't pretend you're a stranger to killing. You have Frahorn's blade. It's infused with Chizo's magic. It's the only thing that can release his hold on me. I want you to drive it into my heart. The nature of the blade will infuse you with energy. Call it to my soul, my life force. We don't have a proper name for it. I want you to give it to the one who needs it. Who? You'll find him nearby. He isn't physically here, but is always observing him, and so he manifests. My life force will sa still save him, wherever his actual body is. Are we talking about Kabadath or John Defoe? Has to be one of those two. I won't kill you. I'm gonna bust you out of here. No. Even if you could, I have no place to go. To the pain element, time is non-linear. It seems the past, present, and future are all at once. Were I to leave this place, I could end up at any moment in time. Or every moment. Or no moment at all. 
It's the reason why you and I are able to interact like this. Despite from my perspective being in the 21st century, and you in the 24th. Now, kill me. Both our destinies demand it. <sighs> Fine. I'm sorry. None of it was your fault. And... Trilby is... dead. It's a long way down, alright? I don't think so. I don't think... okay. Okay, can't leave. Trilby's dead. Now what? Wait. Is this the legitimate Trilby? So you felt that, did you? I think I should get out of here. John Defoe. Yep, I'd say he's dead. Damn it! We're going to catch hell for this, aren't we? Why do you have to cut his own throat? What? Couldn't he have just hung himself with it? Why would you say that? That's that's horrible. Personally, I'm more worried about how he got hold of a knife. You and I both know if a freak really wants to kill himself, there's very little we can do to stop him. Can you honestly say he doesn't deserve it? Whoa. Whoa, hold on a second. That's just... I mean, I know he had a bad past, but really? So... Uh, blackness swallows me. A furious roar of Chazo fades from here. I'm free. Free of that place. Free of physical form. The ebb and flow of time flutters against what passes for my body, caressing me like a lover. When I was a man, I was Destiny's prisoner. Now I will be her servant. There are men and women who have something. I will be the caretaker. Okay. Day six. Well, that was an interesting day five. You could not have saved her, Takabe. But there's still enough time to save yourself. What happened to her? Her weakened defenses allowed John Defoe to crush her personality. In loving her, you tainted her. Tainted? <laughs> tainted love. Just as the past affects the future, so does the future affect the past. And your future, Takabe, is a dark one indeed. So dark that its influence travels backwards through your lifetime. Leaving an eternal blemish on your soul that worsens as your fate draws near. Shut up! Why can't you ever give me a simple straight answer? Why won't you help me get out of here? You will find the way out of, in the basement of Defoe Manor. What? If you wish to escape, go there. You expect me to go down into the mad that madhouse? What about John Defoe? Enough clones of Trilby remain to provide an escort. They will buy you the time you need to break through Defoe's defenses. 
you must combat the corrosive influence of his name. Know him, become him, defeat him. We shall not meet again. I wish you luck. Wait! Will you at least tell me who you are? Once I was a man. John Defoe destroyed all I had. But a gift gave me the power to see the destiny of all mankind. While simultaneously enslaving me to it. You and I, Dekabe, are pawns in a game too vast and comp. So, okay. Or at least, at the very least, a prince. Okay. Alright. Well, there's not much left to do, so let's just finish the game. I'll add it to my journal. For Horn's Blade is one of the Order's most sacred relics. It is said to have been used by the 18th century prophet Jack for Horn himself to deliver the twelve sacrifices that enabled him to write the Book of Chizot. When a person dies, their body, mind, and soul separate and drift apart. An individual killed by Fahorn's blade, however, separates differently. They leave their body behind while the mind and soul remain together. This results in a non-corporeal spirit of unusual ability, capable of strong manifestations, but they remain forever under the command of the one who wielded the blade. An individual can explicit can exploit a loophole in these rules by killing themselves with Forhorn's blade, which would theoretically transform them into an immensely powerful spirit, a magic-infused force of pure will. Uh, that's why specifically Forhorn's blade was given to... Okay. None, however, have yet chant this. Well, there's one in the future who does. Alright, time to get this done and over with. Okay. Why did I stop there? Okay, go in there. Okay, that's it. We need to end this. Will you three come with me into the hub? If that is what you order. We do only as we are told. How many of you are there? We don't know. When any of us fall, another comes here to take our place. So if you die, I can come back here and there will be more of you. Until there are no more. Personally, I'm in no hurry to die. Come on. So basically, you have to know exactly where to go. Well, there goes one. Two. There's some kind of barrier blocking the way. Like a force field. I also like something else entirely. Um. Ex excuse me? It hurts. I think I fucked this up. Uh oh. Is this Chizo? I'm dead. That ain't no gun. Okay. 
Okay, I have the machete. Okay. I think we're good. I hope. seems to recognize it. Huh. This is more complicated than I thought it was gonna be. I feel like it's just endless. Let's take the paper. Lick. Also, lich or like. A kind of undead sorcerer granted immortality by removing their soul from their body and placing it in an external object. Okay. So that's what John Defoe is. Body's indestructible, it can still be stretched, twisted, and made to feel pain. But only damage to their soul artifact will cause permanent damage. So. Okay, so we're doing what we did at the. Okay, wraiths. We talked about what wraiths do. Go upstairs. Okay, close this door. To get the mask. Okay. So I've got the mask and the machete. Habitat. No. The one thing I don't like about this particular... Oh my god. Okay, let's see. What do I get after that? Don't tell me I'm the one who gave John Defoe the equipment that I'm gathering now. Don't tell me I'm the one. Ooh. Okay, grab the apron. That's John Defoe's outfit right there, though. Wouldn't that just mean that... Yeah. I'm the one who gave John Defoe his outfit, aren't I? This is a problem. Oh, this is not good. I don't get why it has to be that one specific spot. It's really strange. Okay. So, I think I did everything. About ten minutes longer. 
That still makes this playthrough a little bit shorter than the other ones, but not by much. Surprises me a little bit, actually. Come on, Trilbies. Okay. Just shove the outfit into the room. Is that what we're gonna do here? Father, it hurts. Should have. Father, killed you. Demon, demon, demon child. It hurts. Father, child. I saved him. Father, demon child. I brought him back. No, child. It hurts. What is going on? Demon, demon. Cabadath, demon, demon, demon. Cabadath, the prince. No, please. The arrogant man. Kill me. Your fault. What now? Know the name. The arrogant man. What now? The bridge keeper. Know the name. The floating man. Go into space. Hold me. The guide. Your fault. It hurts. Last thing you see? Defoe. Defoe mana. You're the last one? I think so. The others all went into the house. They never came out. Does this mean anything to you? Does the spark does this spark any memory? I think the others were killed. When I think that, images start to flash before my eyes. Defoe Mana being here feels wrong. I think it's supposed to have been destroyed. In what way destroyed? Fire. It's supposed to have been burnt down. Perhaps you should address this inconsistency. Yes. How? I can show you where to get some patrol. Excuse you? <sighs> I'm dead, aren't I? I'm dead. Okay. Well. Hmm. Nothing. What, nothing? I don't think so. Touch myself? I can hardly move. What the hell am I? Carl? I'm not far gone enough to be talking to myself. Uh, technically you're doing it now. I feel disconnected. Like I'm looking down on myself from outside. As in I'm you? Hold on a sec. What? I don't think so. I don't think so. Is there... Wait, what the... It's moving. Focus, Takabe. It's not really happening. Okay! There's some kind of document lying on it. I'll add it to my journal. Children of the King rejoice, for the time is finally at hand. Our patience these last few centuries will finally be rewarded. 200 years ago, the body of the bridge keeper was destroyed. 200 years from now, the soul of the bridge keeper will meet the same fate. These are known as bridge events. Their significance was so great that they sent ripples of weakness through the time timeline itself, echoing off into both the past and future. On the 28th of July, 2189, the ripples from the past will collide with the ripples from the future, creating an area of extreme weakness between the two realms. Okay, so right now, if the third bridge event, the destruction of the man of the mind, occurs at this point, the force of the explosion will penetrate the area of weakness and form the bridge between the realms. Over this bridge, the King Chizo will come. He will come to save us and all the men of technology from sin. 
You sound like the characters from Final Fantasy X who are stupid enough to... Actually, if you haven't played Final Fantasy X, spoiler alert ahead of time. In three, two, one. There was a religion in that game that believed like this being literally named Sin came to um, punish them for their sins. But those who played the game or those who know this already know that that's not the case. Same thing here. Anyway, that was that's so stupid. Uh, oh no! It's a bomb. There's enough nano explosive here to uh, atomize the county. Shouldn't I like disarm it or something? Nothing for it. I've got to try and disarm. Wait a second. This bomb's already been defused. What? Oh. Well, okay. I guess I'm leaving then. Shit! Oh, no. No! And here comes Chizo. There was no way to prevent that, was there? Six days later. But that makes it 12 days. If you're watching UCBC. Investigation continues in the circumstances that resulted in a nano-explosive detonation in the county of Buckinghamshire. The blast completely demolished the ophthalmology building, which has been proposedly evacuated beforehand, and sev several lead ophthalmologists are being held for questioning. Okay. I just realized that I clicked out at some point. I don't know how. Gave me enough time to read the damn thing. For once. Although the detonations have not yet been found to have caused any loss of life, two individuals last seen in the area have been reported missing. And environmentalists are already calling this the biggest ecological disaster in the entire something. The investigation continues. Hmm. As an avatar of destiny, I cannot judge. I cannot afford to question events, only encourage them to take place as history. And yet I wonder. I wonder what the Order of Blessed Agonies expected Shizou to enter this universe. Why the Order? Why they did? After all, a creature so dependent on magic could not possibly survive in a world where there is none. The prophecies were wrong. For Horn, the Order, the tall man himself, all deliberately mis misled. But why? For what purpose was the bridge really constructed? It was open for mere seconds. Nothing came through from the ethereal realm. So did Chizou's plan simply fail? Or was his intentions not to send, but to receive? None of this matters. I led Dakabe to the destiny demanded of him by the timeline. Now I must wait. Two centuries from now, my younger self will require my guidance. The eternal cycle must be set in motion again, and while I do not judge and feel no regret, I find that I do not relish this task. Who would? Okay, well... Wait, who's that? In the 18th century, the prophet Jack Verhorn put th to paper the three books of Chizou. Oh, is that Jack Verhorn? The blood of the twelve sacrifices still. The book of the prince, the book of the victims, 
the Book of Victims, and the Book of the Bridge. This is a is central tenant in the faith. Okay, this is going way too fast. What is not known, not even by the highest acolytes, and likely not even by something, is that there was a fourth book. It seemed to contradict the other prophecies, and Trahorn discarded the draft, thinking it a garbled message. This was the book of the new prince. Here's what it said. Cabadath. On the day of the bridge, the prince returned to the court of the king and bowed low before the presence. And the king was greatly wrathful, and he said to the prince, Why have you returned, O prince, you who would betray his king, who would defy him? And with those words the king threw down the prince and stripped away his vestments. And the prince once again became the arrogant man. Oh, Cabadath is the arrogant man. And the arrogant man said, I wanted only to please you, my king. I know you schemed to replace me. If I betrayed you, it was only to remain your prince. And the king replied, I have not forgotten that you are the arrogant man. And still your arrogance... Pause because I know I'm not going to be able to read this. How is that sound still going? Anyway, still your arrogance blinds you. Who are you to question my plans, you little man of linear time? Who are you to believe he knows what is best for I? I who has drunk down the agonies of a million men. I who has seen... Oh. You are not my prince, oh arrogant man. You were never truly of my flesh. Wait. What's going on here? And the king took the vestments of the prince and gave them to the man of purity. And the man of purity became the new prince. Oh, I get it. John Defoe is the new prince. And the arrogant man wept aloud. Why have you betrayed me, my king? What have I done that I should earn this wrath? Ca came the reply. Long ago you were offered the chance to fulfill the role of the bridge as a being of both magic and technology. You could have proven your commitment to your king. You could have chosen your successor. But in your arrogance, you resisted and created the child to become the bridge in your stead. And after you learned the true purpose of the bridge, you had the audacity to subvert me, my will. Weakly, you sought to avert your destiny and the destines... Oh, I get it. He's being punished for summoning Jizo and trying to take his power. Okay. So it's talking about events that actually already did happen. The new prince faced the arrogant man. Killed him? John Defoe? And the new prince threw down the arrogant man. Wait, am I actually... I'm... Like... Trilby! The guide. Talk to the guide? It hurts. I'll bet! Alright. Give it up, cap. Okay. Okay. And the arrogant man knew the name of the king. The Book of the New Prince.
Okay, so... Was this story... Let me make sure I got this down right. Now, for the what I'm about to list, uh, this will spoil the entire series of some... If anybody out there watching this hasn't played the series before or hasn't watched playthrough of the series, spoiler. If not, I'm trying to gather up what really is going on. I don't think... Like, it feels like there were only a very few amount of people involved in all this that... Spiritually, it's more the story basically goes the arrogant man, Kabadath, from years and years prior to the events of Five Days of Stranger, started to. He. What I'm getting off of it is that the arrogant man, as it claimed, he was arrogant and sought power. And through that, he summoned Chizo into the world of technology. Because of this, what I'm getting from it is that Chizo punished him for it. And through that, he, um, the arrogant man before that got the chance to be the prince, but screwed it up. Uh leaving open a pathway for John Defoe to become the prince instead, the new prince. And through the events of the games that were played, that's just how that happened. Including all the tiny little details in Trilby's notes and the end of this game, the scattered details at the end of this game. But trying to leave as much spoiler-free as possible, but still trying to explain my thoughts. Either way around, though, that was definitely fun. I, I did like doing that. Um, I don't have any other horror stuff that I'm planning on doing. Probably going to focus on a bunch of system stuff after that. However, if you guys want to check out my playthrough of either 5 Days, 7 Days, or Trilby's Notes, I'll have the option. I'll have the two of the major options, in my opinion, which are. Um, seven days and five days. I'll have those two on the side over there. If you want to check out any other stuff that I've done, consider subscribing to the channel uh, or just click the thing that's right below me down here. Got any suggestions for any other horror games you'd like me to do? Uh, let me know in the comments below. In the meantime, I'm out and I'll see. Where is this coming from? Weird. Anyway, I'm out and I'll see you guys later. Bye.